Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Bleeker, and welcome back to the official playthrough of MapQuest, the Portal Crystals. In the previous episode, we were um, trying to get a ton of money to buy this adventurer's house right here. This guy. This is the house we need to progress forward. So far, I am just about there. I need a hundred total... I need 100 total gold coins. Let's do some math here, see how many I am at. I know I'm getting close. I know I'm getting really, really close. Uh, 29 plus 64, that's going to be 93. We need seven more coins. And I've got basically two right there. So the key part in this portion of the quest is to really explore around town. I'm really get a feel for all the money that's hiding literally everywhere. Like, for example, here! Look at that. Stack of fat cash. Boom. Money. Ten. Almost there. Also, in these towers, actually, there's some cool stuff. So I'm actually going to head up to this tower. I know... I don't remember if there's money or not, but there are binoculars so that you can look around. There we go. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit! Ow. <laughs> I am best game... I am best game walkthrough ever. Er. Wow. I am actually embarrassed for myself. Hey. Look at that. Money. Also coins. Also binoculars. Let's talk to this guy. If you look east, you can see the pine forest. Looking south, the mountains... Oh yeah, there's the pine forest. There's the mountains over that way? Some mountains and stuff over that way, but more importantly, money! Actually, I think we have enough here to purchase the house. I'm gonna get all this money converted over here. But yes, I will not spoil surprise on what's on all the towers. If you would like to see, go ahead and uh, do your own run-through. It's a um, pretty awesome map in my opinion. So I can't spoil all the surprises. I mean, there is a lot of exploration to be had. I am, however, going to go into this tower right here. And as you can see, it is pretty overgrown. Actually, if you go down here... Yeah, there's stuff down here. I don't remember what, though. Oh, uh, jumping puzzle. I suppose. Hey! Nice! If we didn't have enough money, now we sure as hell do. Ugh, damn. Meet the enemies, the common, commonplace foe in this game. The, um, Greedo? Oh, he drops money too. Now I know for a fact we definitely have enough. Now, one more little secret in this tower. Though I don't believe you can get up anywhere. Over here there is a secret. There we go. 20. So now I know for an absolute fact we have enough money to go buy the house, so we can actually do that this episode. I was really hoping it was going to take me longer to acquire all the money. I was hoping to split off buying the house in one episode, and then... and then finding... Uh, yeah, I was hoping to split off buying the house in this episode and then getting the portal crystal the next episode. You know what? We will actually take this episode to really explore um, Stonewall Village. Uh, through these doors, actually, which we don't have access to yet, is a bottle buyer. So if you're going around the game and you find bottles of water, you can sell that. Um, uh, so I guess we'll actually end up going in the towers here to... Waste a little bit of time here. This will just be a really nice exploration episode. We'll see the sights. We'll get all of this place's money. Yeah, you know, it's just going to be a really cool time. We're going to have fun. A brew? There's actually a brewing stand up here. Oh, that's actually not bad. I'll take that. So all over this map, there's um, all kinds of places to brew. 
like I said, I'm more interested in brewing for the bottles, which you can sell later. And actually, in one of the... Um, mostly what I buy is I don't buy the armor, because I know I'm going to get the best stuff in the game at some point. Whether that point be later, sooner rather than later. Ooh, hey, money. Is up to you. It's actually stored in the dungeons around here. And I haven't cleared all the dungeons. I figured I would um, clear about half the map so I could at least get us the bare minimum, and then I would explore the rest of it and really give a real good live reaction of what's going on. I get the... What the hell did this accomplish? I don't know. Parkour. Again. I'm not really sure what this accomplishes, but... Hey, whatever. Oh, hey, look. Uh, hardcore parkour. Woo. More gold. Woo. Money, silver coins, binoculars. Nice. So that was pretty easy. So that should be most of the Stonewall Village taken care of. Let me think, what else do I need? What else do I need? Do, 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 do. What else is cool around here? <laughs> ah, let's venture over this way a little bit. Is there anything over here? Public toilets? No, I already went diving in the sewers. For 21, that's where we get the green key. It's in house 21. I know for a fact that we can get in here, but I haven't figured out how to get in here yet. Maybe that's a quest later. But let's run over here very briefly. There is a quest of um, interest, a side quest of interest over here. Now I will make a disclaimer, I don't believe you have to start here in the village. You can basically go off and do your own thing. But I prefer to follow the main story quest, and then we go off and do whatever the hell we want. But this is whom I wish to speak to, is in this house right here. Number two follows Creek. Claudia. Yo! Hello there, Bleaker. If you go to the Seven Mages Villain, there's a trader who sells my favorite perfume. Laval Est Bill. If you bring back a bottle, I'll give you something really good. And if I remember correctly, she actually does. And here's her quest. We're just going to kind of tuck this one in the back here for a little bit. Some more silver coins. I'm just going to rob her blind of all her possessions. Even if she wanted some of that... What is this stuff? La ville est belle. La vie est belle. She couldn't get any because I just robbed her blind. Hmm. There's a teleport hub. Okay, so... Important information. I'm about to I'm about to drop some real knowledge bombs here. The teleport hubs are going to be oh more regeneration vial are going to be invaluable to this adventure at some point. Now what does kind of suck is you have to visit a certain amount of teleport hubs before you can actually unlock them. I believe you have to visit three unique teleport hubs. I want to say is the amount before you can actually start using them. But once you can, oh, it is super nice. Hey, there we go. I knew there was something over this way. Now this one I don't actually remember. I just knew something was over here. This could be nothing too. Nope, definitely not nothing. There it is. Oh nice. Um arrows, I don't really use those, but I'll hold but I'll grab them. Gotta store that. The fish I'm gonna keep on me. Keep on me, keep on me. Yeah, unfortunately, arrows are not something that I readily use. Oh, jack o that's cool. There's another chest. Rare cocktail potion. Yeah, I'll hold on to that one as well. Keep that close to me. Like I said, it is very important to... It isn't a terrible idea to get off the beaten trail a little bit. You never know what you're going to find. 
there is a teleport hub here, straight ahead. Usually when you see an ender chest, I've found that that typically means there's something around here to find. Like this. Money. Holy crap, a 50. Dear God. But in my experience, that's what that usually means, is that there's something around here meant to be found. That one, I can't believe there's... Oh, there it is. There it is! Gold coin. Very nice. Okay. I'm satisfied. So let's head over here to the outskirts a little bit. So this is the teleport hub. This allows for fast travel once you... Wait for it. This, tele... this is a teleport hub. You'll find teleport hubs all over the lands. This hub will unlock once you've found a hub in another area of the map. When you when they unlock, they will allow you to fast travel to locations you've already been to. Uh, chickens, that's kind of neat. The picket farm. Just gonna raid. I'm just gonna rob the poor farmer. Another gold coin, very nice. So yes, um, originally when I did this quest, I didn't grab the, I didn't complete the green key quest because I couldn't figure it out. Mick had to tell me that I was being an idiot. Actually, I wasn't being an idiot. I just never. Ooh, cold water. That's water bottles. I will take that. Mick had to tell me I was an idiot and didn't explore around enough. Now that I know what I'm doing. Anything else? No. I'm gonna talk to that fine fellow over there. See if he's got anything for me. Yo! Welcome to Picket Farm. Did you know right behind you, you can see the three towers in the distance? You can see three towers in the distance. This village is called Seven Maids Village. And behind me is the Pine Forest where the elves live. And further from there, if you... Follow the path will lead to Hay Bale Village. That'll play into effect, um, not... Oop. Oh, there's, um, four different dungeons. And finally, if you're looking for the portal crystal, I'm sure you'll find one in those dungeons as well. Yes, there are portal crystals in the dungeons. How much time do I have on this? About a 12-minute episode? Eh. I'm not gonna murder the animals. I have no way of breeding them currently. Should be fun to do a survival series in here. Oh, money. Enter from the other side. Okay. Gotta go in the other way. I think this would be a cool map to do a survival series on when I finish up here. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I haven't decided that yet. If there's enough interest, I might. Alright. So... I think um, I'll make this episode just a little shorter because this is just a tour of the village as well. Actually, before we do that, let's buy our house. Hello, real estate man. Uh, let's do a 50-55. And look at that. We bought our first home. Welcome to home ownership, ladies and gentlemen. The property is yours. Good luck. I'm sure you will be happy. As do I. As do I. And with that, I think I can justly end the episode. Uh, when we come back next time, House 28 is open. You might find some good trades. House 28? What? House 28 is open. Well, that's the public toilets. House 28 is open. I've never had that happen before. House 22. House 24. Oh, House 28. The bottle trader. Hey! Oh, nice! Hello! Weapons trader. Hey! Hey! That's cool. And then this is the bottle buyer. He'll buy bottles from us. Three for... It's over a dollar a... Bottle, that's not bad. I'll take that. I'll take that. Sorry, no food for you. Just gonna chug this water here. 
I didn't know that this uh, house opened up that fast. Yo, dog. I hear you like bottles. Here. Nope. Oh, nope. Wrong dog. Yo, dog. I hear you like bottles. Here. Have a bottle. Thanks, fam. I didn't know this house opened that fast. Oh. Oh. God. No. Sorry. Sorry. Ah! No, 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 no. No. But yes, uh, when we come back next episode, we'll go into the house, we'll investigate around there. Fruit trader. Oh, that's neat. Old butcher. That is not a very good deal. There is a special buyer that we can purchase from later. You're just a child. But yes, when we come back next episode, we will get into the house. And we will get our first portal crystal. But until then, guys, this has been Bleaker. Be sure to drop me a subscribe, like, that kind of deal. And we will be seeing you all next time. <laughs>